you! Welcome to a new video. My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and today I'm doing a greeting card flip book. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may know that a little while ago I started a swap bot group. I started a group for Dutch people only so that we can save on shipping costs a little bit. And so far we've been doing a lot of fun swaps. By the way, if you're a Dutchie and you want to join, I'll put the link in the description, description box down below. If you're not a Dutchie, sorry, <laughs> it's just for Dutch people. I really like coming up with swaps. I also sometimes host public swaps, but my imagination still is kind of limited in a way. So, you know, I, I cannot... <laughs> so sometimes there are swappers who want to help me with creating swaps. And this time we had a swapper, Jessica, and she organized this loaded greeting card swap. I have never done something like this before, so I thought it would be fun if I could show you guys what I do, how I do it on camera. Basically, the only guidelines are buy a greeting card, fill it with goodies, and send it. And it should be at least 50 grams, so at least two stamps for us. And <laughs> I've been making clip books and mail and stuff for quite a while now, but I actually never thought to use a greeting card. So that is why I thought it would be fun to uh, show you guys. I already said that. I also received my swap today. So I received the one um, made for me <laughs> today. So I can actually show you that. I will show you that a couple minutes in. So first you can watch me um, start crafting. And then after a couple minutes, you can see what I received. And then I'm going to start doing the um, flip book, the greeting card flip book, because I was kind of keen on using a square card for this, because most of my flip books are always rectangular, and I don't know why, but I like squares. So I, I picked out a greeting card that I have from the museum. So it is from the Amsterdam Museum and they have very pretty tulips on there and I think it will go really well with the vintage book pages. Yes. Mm. So first just you're watching me create a little bit and then I'll show you the one I received. And then, you know, we'll see what else happens. Okay, so apparently my camera shut off. Basically, my camera didn't notify me in time that it was empty, so I did a whole bunch of stuff, or at least it felt like I did a lot, and then I realized that my camera shut off. Anyway, what I did is I used this paper, which I just got in a garden shop, you know, to wrap up the plants and the pots so that they don't break on the way home. I used that paper and I made a little uh, paper bag. I didn't, oh, it's so annoying that I cannot show you anymore, but I didn't really make a bag. I just cut out this and then I folded the little corners around so this is all folded. I don't know how else to explain it. And I used my paper punch to punch out this little uh, square or just little circle so I can take it out. And I'm gonna put goodies in there and I glued this, I don't know what is it, it's like a piece of cardstock I got it in a swap. I glued this down as well and I think I showed you that I did that. So yeah.
Okay, so at the beginning of the video, I promised you that I would show you the swap that I received today. I opened the envelope already because I'm very clumsy and doing that on camera is not a good idea. But I haven't really looked at what's inside yet. Um, so, like I said, I received it today. Uh, we have the pretty stamps, I always like that. Um, and she simply decorated the envelope with some washi tape, which looks really cute, I think. And decorating the envelope also wasn't a requirement, so that is totally fine. And it's quite a large uh, postcard and envelope because I already knew which postcard I was going to use and it's about half the size of this one Which is totally fine. There wasn't a requirement or anything and then if you open it oh, um, We have some cute little envelopes We have these three white envelopes which say life is good and then this bulky one and then I don't know what is this looks like a postcard um, So yeah, I'm going to open the envelopes um, <coughs> I don't know, uh, this kind of like meets the requirements precisely because it said loaded envelope with envelopes and goodies and stuff. So I'm just going to see what is in here. First little envelope. I, I think if I can take these off, I would like to reuse them because I love tiny envelopes. Oh no, they're glued on there pretty well. So first envelope has these little sticky notes and I actually have these myself and they're perfect for swapping because they're so tiny and cute so that is really nice I can never have enough sticky notes and then next pocket whoops ah washi tape samples always like them mm. we have this is like not washi tape this is a how do you call that this is um, plastic, some sort of plasticky tape, so it's kind of shiny, and it has some sort of pills on it, I think. Ooh, I don't know if I can. I'm not entirely sure if this is like if you can like really reuse this, but it does look kind of cute. And then this one has cupcakes on it, and they're actually Christmas cupcakes, so I have to wait with that for a little while because it has like the little mistletoe and the little candy canes and stuff. Looks really cute, but uh, I'm gonna save that for Christmas. And then this one has is pink with little dots, and I really like that. Then let's see what is this. Um, hmm. I'm a bit confused. I think this is like the card that is supposed to go in this envelope, but he she glued the envelope shut. So I can use the card, but I cannot use the envelope anymore, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but we have a little, uh, how do you call that, coloring card postcard, and I really like these. I really like uh, coloring books for adults, so I can definitely use that in a way. And then we have another little card, and another little envelope, and it has a little card in it. I think this is, yes, it's just a little message from her. So that's really cute. And then this is a pocket that I'm actually really excited about because it's very bulky and... Um, how am I gonna open this? And I like this paper as well. It's very cute. Ooh, oh, there's a bunch of teas in here. Oh. Teas are stuck. Wait. Uh, ah, yes. Oh, and you, when you open the envelope immediately, everything smells so nice. So we have a bunch of teas. Oh, very nice. Okay, so that is the, um, the, I don't know, the gift card, greeting card flip book that I received. And I'm now going to continue showing you how I make mine.
So I'm about to wrap this up, which is good because my the table is a mess and I'm hot and sweaty again. Um, so you saw me make this loaded greeting card. As you can see, I made this little pocket here. Very cute, put some cards in there, decorate it a little bit. And then I really like this one. I made a wax seal with green and some golden green. No, I mean greenish gold. I don't know. I don't know how to call this color. Wax seal beads and then I put on some uh, glitter. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I made a wax seal and I put in some dried flowers and I used a split pen or a brad to hold my washi tape samples and decorate this page again a little bit. And then on the other side I covered up the brad with some paper, little envelope with a couple of die cuts, little envelope with a lot of stickers. I used this pretty, um, I don't know, these leaves, golden leaves. But as you can see, as I showed you the one that I received, um, she didn't really decorate it. So I don't know if that was a requirement, but I just like, this is just more my style. Anyway, I'm decorating the envelope. Uh, I already wrote her a little note and I'm going to send her my favorite tea as well. Okay, so even the stamps are confused about this envelope. I have a chicken. I have a forest one and I have a mouse, a rat actually. Um, and maybe you <laughs> noticed, but I was a little bit lost because I wanted to continue with this vintage theme on the envelope, but I didn't really like any of the scraps that I had left. And then decided to use this card, um, which is the same card that I also used in the loaded card, loaded greeting card. But um, yeah, I have to fill out the rest of her name, the rest of her address, of course, but because of privacy reasons, I'm not doing that on camera. So I got a little bit confused. <laughs> but uh, in the end, I, ha I kind of like the way it looks. I use these Nouveau Glitter Drops um, to make a couple golden specks, and that actually makes it so much better. I think the golden specks, golden NML dots, make really tidy and fill it together because it also matches the brown ink of the stamps quite well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these dry and then I'll put everything in and I'll put a little um, wax seal stamp on the back but I'm not going to film that anymore because it's already evening and it's getting darker so you'll just have to believe me but I want to use this one which is the tree of life and meh, don't know what else to tell you. Um, so I wrapped up everything with a little bit with some twine and think that is it for now so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got some good ideas from this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already leave me a comment if you like i really love uh, reading your thoughts um also let me know if you have any ideas that you would like to share with me blah 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 i hope to upload new videos every monday and friday and i'll see you again soon Bye bye